Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Sophia, if you're new here, and I post home decor and DIY content every Sunday. And this Sunday is no exception. I wanted to do a thrift with me slash little thrift haul at the end. Um, for you guys. I've done a few of these in the past. I did one for Urban Outfitters and you guys really enjoyed that one. And then I did one for Studio McGee as well. So I have been so inspired by everything on Anthropology's website recently. I don't know if it's because I just had my daughter or it's getting warmer out and spring is here. I don't know if that's the deal, but I've definitely been super inspired by everything that I've been seeing on their website. However, the prices are crazy for me. So I cannot justify spending like over like a few dollars for a vase that I might like for only just like a season or two. So I always like to go to the thrift store. So I'm going to share with you guys everything that I found. Oh, and if you're not already, please make sure you are subscribed to this channel as well as if you hit that bell, it'll send you an actual notification that I've posted a video. So don't forget to do those two things. And with that being said, let's go to the thrift store. So to start us off at the thrift store, one thing that I love from Anthropology is their artwork, but it's also one of their more expensive items that they have on their website. And I can't justify spending that much money on artwork. I have to really love it. And I love coming to the thrift store first to find things that might not be identical, but they're dangerously similar. And on a little bit more of a smaller scale, I found this beautiful bone frame that was handcrafted in India. Another thing I always tell you guys about is the baskets. Anthropology has beautiful, very unique baskets, and you can find those same beautiful, unique baskets for a fraction of the cost at the thrift store, ones with different colors, different patterns, different shapes. I found this one that was so similar to the one from Anthropology. Obviously, it just didn't have that pedestal part, but otherwise it was really close, and it was so much more affordable. Another section you guys know if you've been following me that I absolutely love is the wooden bowl section. And this wooden bowl is really similar in shape, but all you would have to do is sand and stain and it would look so similar to the one from Anthropology. I thought this brassy gold tray was also really beautiful. Maybe if you just polished it or just spray painted it in a beautiful metallic gold color, I think it would look really awesome. One thing I really don't like spending a lot of money on is organizers, especially ones that are like really beautiful and aesthetic, which is why I love going to the thrift store. And I found this little makeup brush holder that looks so similar to the one from Anthropology, but again, for a fraction of the price. So another thing that I was really excited to find was this beautiful, enormous tortoise face that was way bigger than the one that they're selling right now on Anthropology, but for way cheaper. Another tortoise piece that I found was this beautiful lamp. If you wanted to go to Ikea and grab a lamp shade, I never have luck with lamp shades at the thrift store. So if you guys have any tricks, let me know in the comments down below. I also found this little amber glass jug that I thought looked so similar to the recycled glass vase that they're selling, as well as there's so many just different colors of vases that you have. You can get like the green one and the pink one and the yellow one and the white one and have it styled just that way, but probably only spending like less than $10. One thing that anthropology I think does really well is making something that almost seems like very juvenile, make it feel really elevated, like the seashell lamp. I found the seashell and I also found a seashell lamp and I feel like a coat of spray paint could do wonders for both of these items. I also have really good luck with pictures. I found this beautiful one for just $2.99. I think would look so cute styled how they did with just some florals. I also found this little picture. This one was $3.99. So really there's so many options. Also, I found these and I feel like you guys always are like the best at telling me like what something's for if I don't know. So if anybody knows what these are for, please let me know down in the comments below. But I thought that they were so beautiful, very vintage inspired and felt very anthropology-esque. I also found this and I didn't know what it was either because it doesn't really look like a candle holder. So, but of course, you know, I had to grab every brass candle holder they had. And now it's just time to show you everything that I ended up picking out. So the first thing that I was really, really happy to find was this beautiful tortoise vase. I mean, this is like a pretty, this is bigger than my head. Like this is a nice sized vase and it was only like $7.99, which honestly, if you're going at any like high end decor site, not just anthropology, like any single one, you are at least going to spend $50. So $7.99 for that, I was like really happy with that price. Next thing, it's not like I'm crazy about like coastal decor, but like I said, with summer around the corner and I had my daughter, I was like really like into a coastal vibe, I guess, I don't know. But I found this little seashell doohickey that you can put on the wall. It already has the hole right there. And it's only $2.99, which is a really like, I mean, this is like dollar store practically. 
And I thought this would be so cute because I hate our um, light switches. They're just ugly. I thought this would be so cute to like kind of disguise that um, light switch in her room. One day, maybe. I don't know. But you know what? It's worth it for me to bring it home and see if I don't know. So I feel like I've talked about this literally to death, but the basket section in the thrift store is lit. Like there's always so many beautiful, unique baskets that you can find all shapes, all sizes, all colors, all kinds of things. And they are so cheap, like dirt cheap. And this one reminded me so much of one that I had recently seen on Anthropology's website. And I thought this would be so perfect in my son's, um, I guess it's still a nursery. I mean, he's a toddler, but he's still my baby. So, um, I thought this would be so cute to put like on the center of his dresser with just like some of his like daily like things that we do with him. So um, I'm really excited about this. It's still kind of neutral, but it's just, it's interesting to look at, you know what I mean? And it was so affordable. So some of you guys might know if you've had kids that um, once you're in the hospital, they do their footprints. This frame was just too cute to pass up. And it reminds me a lot of this mirror that I saw on Anthropology. It has these like half dowels. And I thought that this was so beautiful. It's made in India, it was so affordable. And um, so basically what I'm thinking is I can stack it like this on her little dresser and put the footprints in here. And it's just a little bit like nicer than your average like frame as well as being so affordable. And um, it just looks like really interesting. It looks really well made and it was so cheap. You guys look so cheap. Another thing that I always pick up at the thrift store are and it does not matter how ugly they are, I always pick them up, and it is wreaths. Now, my husband, I have absolutely no idea why they decided this lobster was, was a moment. Um, my husband was like, maybe it was red lobsters, and I never even thought of that. I thought that was such an interesting thought, but obviously the lobster is going to go because no. And just like that, you're gonna see that this is gonna become way better in about four seconds. I feel like now it's the perfect starting point for whatever DIY project I want to do and it was only $5.99 to do it. And my last one, I've told you guys this and I'm going to keep telling you guys this, is get, if you are at your thrift store or if you're at a garage sale or if you are on Facebook Marketplace or if you are on a walk with your family and you see a side of the road, fine, and you see these, grab them up because they are on every home decor site brass candle holders. Now, I like to do something just a little bit different with my brass candle holders. I feel like everybody just generally does like the white. I have these taupe candles that I love and I will make sure I link them. They're from Amazon and they actually are really, really good quality. So I will make sure I link those for you guys because they look so beautiful with the brass candle holder. And then I think it's fun that they're all different, right? Like not everything has to be perfect and exactly the same. And these are really, really affordable. This one was only $3.99. This was actually a lot for this brass candle holder. Usually they're like $2.99 or less near me. So um, very affordable home decor that looks high end. So if I was going to buy these six home decor pieces directly from Anthropology, it would be well over $300, which is crazy when you compare it to how little I spent at the thrift store. And with that being said, it's this kiddo's nap time. So we will catch you guys in the next one. Say bye, Romy.